Hey everybody, how you doing? This is about to be a really fun video. Out at the range today with heavy metal, and in this video, a highly requested video, you guys asked me tons and tons to see this video, we are comparing the 17 HMR against the 22 Magnum. We're going to go back to 100 yards and shoot these clay blocks here. These are 10 pound clay blocks from 100 yards from rifles. And let me show you the ammo here quick. This is Norma Rimfire ammo. What's it say here? For the 17 HMR, 17 grain, 2,560 feet per second. Then the 22 mags, 40 grainers, 1885. So heavier and slower with a hollow point or lighter and faster with a polymer tip. So comment down below which do you think is going to have the most destruction the 17 HMR or the 22 mags. I'm gonna go ahead and take a guess and say mm, this is tough. I'm gonna go with the 17 HMR the speed but let's see what happens 100 yards two different blocks of clay I'm just gonna turn the cameras on and let it go and shoot a full mag out of each of those rifles assuming we're we are hitting if I'm missing we might have to recite the rifles in but last I checked both those rifles are dead on I'm gonna aim square for the nose let me put a little thing in there that's where I'm gonna hold on that one and what can I find for the other one I'll find something to stick on the other one's nose but let's uh let's get down to business go back to 100 yards I'm gonna start with the 17 HMR here on this red nose smiley face boy and then I'll shoot the 22 mag let's see what happens comment what you think is gonna do the most damage to these blocks of clay I'm going with the 17 before we get to slinging some rim fires down range at these clay blocks, let me tell you a little bit about Hits Arms. Hits Arms is a laser training system that allows you to use this. This is a nine millimeter. They have other calibers as well. In your firearm, do your dry fire training and see your immediate response on your accuracy with the laser hitting your target. So. This is what I, I use for my dry fire practice, both the 9mm and 223. It's going to really, really help you improve your accuracy, focus on your trigger squeeze, let you see exactly where you're screwing up, whether you're pulling it one way, up or down, left and right. But let's have a little bit of fun at 100 yards here. I've got the 9mm hits arms bullet, I've got my high point 995. Let's take some shots first at 100 yards on a paper plate and then if we're getting the hits consistently we're going to put the laser on a milk jug down there and see if we can blow that milk jug up with a, a live bullet here after we do a little bit of practice out of this high point check it out we should be able to pick up these hits on that paper plate down there with this other camera Oh yeah, I can see the laser down there dancing around the bullseye. Hopefully you guys could see that laser in this other camera. Now let's, uh, let's take a few at that water jug. I think I'm getting that laser dead on the center of that water jug, but let me, uh, the laser's hitting the plate in the jug. I can see it with my own eyes. Like I said, hopefully you guys can see it on the camera, but let me uh, load up some live nine millimeter in this thing. See if we can blow up that water jug down there just for fun. All right, here's some Winchester white box. And I'm only gonna load one bullet because I'm confident we can get this hit on this water jug. You know, live ammo in here now. Cross your fingers here. Boom. 
got her done but hey got that water jug that laser bullet it's really awesome it's going to help you focus on your trigger squeeze to where you really get your precision down when you're breaking that trigger but check out hits arms use the code hooty who they're going to give you 10 percent off your order i guarantee you won't regret it all right so i got a couple different cameras down there behind the targets in front of the targets so we should be able to see what's happening as long as those batteries don't die or something but here we go with the uh 17 HMR and we are way too high on this thing See what we can do Well, yeah, that was a good shot 100 yards let's shoot all five of them down there Yeah Tearing it up I think I actually flinched and missed, believe it or not. We got one more here. Right now let's go over to the 22 mag 22 mag where's my 22 mag fans uh, all the zooms it's not as much zooms on this scope we're gonna need to bring this up <clears throat> get them square in the nose here on this first one well gotta take the safety off good hit them four more don't tell me I missed on that I gotta focus or am I hitting the same spot because you got a big hole on the first one or something maybe huh I don't know if I'm let me try to hit the bottom here I think that 22 mag. I think that 22 mag just made a big hole on the first shot. And the. Uh, the rest of them were just kind of going through the middle. But in case y'all wondering, this 22 mag is my Savage Model 93. And 17 HMR is my Marlin 17V. Let's go check out those clay blocks down there. So, let's go take a look at the clay. From where I was sitting way back there, it looked like we were getting a lot more splody bits on the 17 HMR. But I didn't see it from the view, close up, zoomed in, slow motion like you guys did so you guys comment down below which one you thought did better the fast 17 HMR or the heavier and slower 22 mag I'm running into the table but here's the front of the 17 HMR hmm interesting pretty torn up and then here is the front of the 22 mag so Without knowing anything different, those side by side, I'd say the 17 HMR looks more torn up. But, let's come around the back here. Definitely a big, wide hole there. That's like bigger than my fist. And then over to the 22 mag. Hmm. Not really impressive. There's something coming out there, something there two bigger holes there whereas this one has a big old splatter hole based off of what I'm seeing here guys I'm gonna have to give it to the fast light 
17 HMR. I mean, look at that. You can't really argue with that. And then the back of that was even more extreme. But comment down below. Let me know what you think. Let me know any more ideas you have for future videos. Or even these two, the 22 mag or the 17 HMR. As always, appreciate you guys watching. Don't forget to check out the Heavy Metal channel and subscribe. We'll see you guys on the next one. Hootie hoo!